everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've had a few people ask me how to put an icon, a logo, or a picture on the head of an animation that will be for a map path. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make an eye-catching map animation, and it's going to be perfect for travel vlogs, documentaries, cinematic intros, or anything. We'll cover everything from animated paths and inserting graphics, pictures, icons, into the map and make them come alive. Stick around and I'll show you how simple it is. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to take a look and see how many points of interest that we are going to stop at. We're going to come in and count like one, two, three, four, then leave. And we're going to want about five seconds in between. So just figuring we're going to have our timeline at about 25 seconds. So we're going to bring our picture down into our timeline, stretch it out to about 25 seconds. From there, we're going into the fusion page and once in the fusion page we are now going to go in and we're going to select a paint node and put that onto the timeline with the paint node selected we're going to go up to the polygon stroke and we're going to click that we're going to now create a path that you're going to travel so we're going to go and click one two three four and then we're going to leave so now as you see, you have a white hat and it's kind of big and fuzzy. What we're going to do is we're going to change our color to, let's say, a red, something that's going to show up really good on this map. You can change and use whatever color you want when you're doing it. We're going to open our brush controls and our stroke controls. Now up in the brush controls, we're going to change our size. We're going to bring it down a little bit so that we have a nice fine path our softness will actually fine tune it and make it a little bit more narrow and better looking and from there we're going to go down into our stroke controls and with our playhead at zero we're going to take and back out on our right on all the way so you can see that the path is disappearing and we're going to put a keyframe there now we're going to go to the end of the clip in this case it's going to be about five 60 and we're going to set our right on all the way up to one and that will automatically create another keyframe. We're going to take our spacing and we're going to change that to two. What that will do is that will create a dotted line here on the path. So we got dots now instead of the solid line. You can change the size of the dots a little bit if you want. You can change the softness of it to make it brighter like right there is fine. You can change the size and look of the dots by going into your softness and decreasing it some. You will see as you do that that the dots will actually get better and more focused. So this is looking really good for this point. So now if you go over and you select your media out and you actually play this clip back, you will see that it's actually putting dots on a path. And there you go. You have it, and I hope everything works out well for you. Oh, wait a minute. We forgot that we're going to actually now put icons on the trailhead. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our timeline. We're going to copy our paint node and we're going to paste it onto our node tree. With the paint node selected, we're going to go up to our modifiers tab. We're going to select the modifiers. And we're now going to go down to our right on effect. And what we're going to do is we're going to take and move our blade head all the way back to zero. With our playhead set to zero, you can see that there is a keyframe there already since we just copied it over. What we're going to do is we're going to end this at point zero zero one. Now we're going to take our playhead and we're going to move it to the end where the other keyframe is and we're going to change our dark value at point nine nine nine. We're going to also take our spacing and we're going to drop that back down to zero zero. We're going to change our color um, to any color that you want. Let's just say we're going to put it at green for now. And now when you do play this back, you will see that you have a 
green dot leading the path. So now we have a green dot as a leader for our trailhead. You can leave it at that and say it's over or you can do the icons. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually set in our playhead animations or icons. We're going to collapse our apply controls. Why? <laughs> Just because we need to make some room. We're now going to go into our image. We select our image and now you can see that you have a bunch of different presets but in our case we're going to actually just go in with our playhead set to zero we're going to go in and we're going to find an image that we want in this case we're going to put that image on which is not looking so good right now because we have to do one more thing to make this actually look halfway decent to make this look good we're going to have to expand the apply controls and we're going to hit this merge and now you can see that your icon looks a little better so now what we're going to do is we're going to change our icon so we're going to actually put a keyframe right at the beginning where our trip starts we're going to basically move our first icon to where we want to actually have it change and we're going to put another keyframe at that point we're going to move it one more frame and then we're going to change our icon to something different now we're going to then take the playhead and we're going to move our icon to where it is that we want to actually change again so we're going to go here and we're going to select a keyframe there move one frame forward by the right arrow key we're going to now change our icon we're going to take a bus from there to the shore so we're going to now move our playhead all the way to the shore and we're going to change our icon so we're going to put a keyframe there move it one frame forward with our right arrow browse and we're going to take an airplane and go home so now what we're going to do is just play that out and you will see that it actually has a travel map with icons so you start off in a boat you're on a motorcycle just traveling around the country change to a bus and then on the airplane go home okay hope y'all enjoyed this and now you know how to change icons you can also use the same technique for making a path by outlining any image that you want and have it keyframed as well and on the timeline and we'll get more into that on a future video thank you please subscribe and leave some comments and i will talk to you later bye